We do have breaking news right now. We want to send you to the White House. President Biden has started to speak this afternoon. He was scheduled to t speak on the topic of effective policing, but obviously the school shooting in Texas will be on the minds of everyone. Let's take a listen in to what President Biden has to say this afternoon as he addresses the country. President Joe Biden, members of our cabinet, members of Congress, community leaders, law enforcement officials, it's good to be here with all of you. Not under these circumstances, but it is good to be with you. And I know, of course, that today, following yesterday, that all of our hearts, of course, are with the people of Uvalde, Texas, with the parents, with the children, with all the folks who said goodbye yesterday morning to someone they loved, not knowing that that goodbye would be their last. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. As the President said last night, we must have the courage to stand up to the gun lobby and pass reasonable gun safety laws. We must work together to create an America where everyone feels safe in their community, where children feel safe in their schools. And of course, that responsibility that we collectively have to ensure that all people feel safe in their community is what brings us together today. It is an honor to be joined by the families of George Floyd, Breonna Taylor, and many others. And I've met many of you before and many times. And many others I'm meeting for the first time. I am moved, as always, by your courage. You have felt so much pain, and you have endured unimaginable grief. You have experienced the anguish of losing someone you love and cherish. And yet, you are here as you have been throughout the days of your grief, standing selflessly, full of grace and resilience, to speak up, to speak out, often against odds, great odds, to fight for a world where no one has to experience what you have been through. Your loved ones should be with us today. You should not have to mourn. You should never have had to mourn in order for our nation to feel your pain and to understand what is wrong and to agree that something must be done. I know it is a particularly difficult day for the Floyd family. Two years ago today, a brother, a son, a father was taken from you. We will never forget what happened that day. The eyes of the world, literally, were on what happened that day. And collectively, we remain horrified by what we the Vice President speaking to the country. We expect President Biden to also address the country, expected to talk about policing, and we also expect perhaps to talk about the shooting in Texas. We will live stream this for you right now on clickondetroit.com um, if you want to keep following that and bring you highlights of what was said as you join us tonight at 5.